I am so sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> <coughs> I am so sorry about that. I don't know what the hell happened, but the game froze on me. And... Kicked me right out to the home screen. So, I'm going to see about getting back to where I was. And again, I am so sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Let's see, so I was headed... I think it was this one that I was going to. Yeah, that looks right. Keep away from me, please. Scout. That's a curious way to get about. Uh Peasants are not allowed. He's here. Your man. I am no peasant. Okay, I'm kind of a peasant. Oh, hey. So this is San Lorenzo. Okay. Okay, also, if you guys remember, I'm currently at six glyphs solved, so this should make seven. I just need to find my way in. And also, on any of the glyph locations, if you guys can remember where they are and I seem to be having difficulty, and you feel like it, feel free to help me out, because... Uh, I swear. Okay, I don't see anything sparkly from here. That would have been the most logical place for me to look first, so... Okay. Oopsie-daisy. There we go. It's the monkey! It's the monkey from Nazca! Okay, first plucked from a tree, guarded by a snake. Clack. Then... its powers perform miracles. Figuring I'm looking... For the various shrouds, I guess. That's what these guys are getting at. Uh. Oh, reconstruct the timeline. Crap. Alright. Prehistory. Really? I wonder if that's why I'm getting so many follows. <laughs> Be kind of interesting and vaguely weird. Yeah, 
I don't remember the freaking solution to this one. <sighs> Frickety frack. Um Joseph, because he had the coat. Okay, so maybe that one isn't there. Ugh, I hate these ones. Let's see, Joseph is 1700 BCE. I guess Prometheus probably wouldn't be there, huh? Joseph. Jesus, Jesus. David. Yay, I did it! <laughs> I hate the reconstruct the timeline things. Those are like the absolute freaking worst. The Shroud! I'm really, I'm hoping to see that the Shroud comes in, like, co like actually comes into play in Origins. Just due to the simple fact that, like, I don't know, it may just be me, but I really, ri they are so vague on their clues. It's, it's stupid. <laughs> but at the same time, I kind of absolutely love it because, you know, I like thinky things. Thinky things are the best things for Ian. Oh, there you are. Okay. And upsy daisy. True. Very, very true. It's just the timeline ones make me sad. <laughs> like, all of the other ones, like the the visual puzzles and stuff, I love it. I just have a really hard time figuring out the timelines. Because then I have to, you know, put together all of the, the dates and crap, and I'm like, what comes first? So... But it's all good. It's all good. I always get them figured out in the end, so there's definitely that. It does make me kind of sad that I'm not part of the Illuminati chat. Ah, freaking spears. I literally went around the corner, you doof. Standing right in front of him. My cabbages! Hey, 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 hey. Pull down your poster. Jeez. Alrighty, let's see. Let's go ahead and climb this little place. 
Yeah, I think I think on this one I will do a bit more complete. Like I'm not gonna go for a hundred, but I am gonna go for you know a goodly amount. There is conjecture about whether or not my mind has snapped, so... You would be in good company if you said yes. <gasps> Boing! Okay, so I only need 13 more glyphs. And I only need... Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not going to do the feathers because, bleh, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to see that. I will do the glyphs because those are, they're just fun in general. And then I'm going to do the, the, what the hell are they called? The pages. Yeah, the codex pages. Because those are just handy with all of the upgrades they give. And I will also be doing the the sarcophagi because Altair's armor is O fucking P. So I'm going to be doing pretty much everything. Like, the only thing that I can think of that I'm not going to be doing is the feathers. Who must die, and why must he die? I actually have been getting kind of interested in Overwatch, um, but yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely take a look at that, because, I mean, even without being interested in the game, I do know that Blizzard knows how to do a story, so, yeah, yeah, I think I will check it out. <laughs> We have a page right here. Nice. Which character did uh, did they do? Hey, cool. Isn't Doomfist the one that, like, everybody got, like, super freaking, like, upset about because it wasn't, like, what they thought it was going to be? Good enough for me. Like, they thought that Doomfist was going to be, like, this, like, uber super robot thing, and it was, like, a kid with a... Like a remote control robot or something like that. I remember seeing stuff about Doomfist, I just don't remember exactly what I saw. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I remember like I remembered people getting pissed off about him, but I don't I didn't remember why. <laughs> D 
Damn. So has he come out yet, or...? Like, are they still just, like, showing stuff for him? Because I'm not going to lie, I would probably play that game for a character called Doomfist. Sweet. I like how I only have like this little sliver of like I only have the barest sliver of freaking uh, notoriety, and they're already like proclaiming my death. Nice. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Doesn't look to be anything new there. So great are this man's pride, a private bounty and a coffee. I haven't even done anything. Well no, that's a lie. That that is a lie. I have I have killed quite a few people. <laughs> Most of them guards. That is pretty fucked up, so okay, 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 yeah, no, that's understandable why you'd be mad. <laughs> Meh. Okay, you're not one of the people that I need to kill. Okay, then. Well, that definitely, uh... <laughs> Shit. Whenever people run from me, I feel the need to stab them, apparently. I hear treasure. This is true. This is very... Hey, hey! Ah, uh, the rich guy's gone. I need to keep an eye out for those guys. They give a lot of money when you tackle them. I keep forgetting, have you gotten to play Syndicate yet, or have you or are you still not quite there yet? Tackle everybody. Why? What's up, dude? Let's None of those are pretty. Maybe if you promise me that you'll get something really pretty. Dude, the Jack the Ripper DLC was fucking amazing. <coughs> the new, uh... Like, all the freaking, like, extra 
gameplay shit that they added to it. It was just... I loved that DLC. I would love to see them do a full game for that one. Like, you know, a good, like, 20, 30-hour gameplay freaking just monstrosity where you get to do all of that shit again. <laughs> Hell, maybe even a game where you get to play as Jack leading up to him becoming the Ripper. Meh. <laughs> so many... So many guards. Dude, I abused the shit out of the scare tactics. Like, actually, honestly, Batman Arkham Knight kind of trained me up for that, though. Like, they did, but I mean, like, getting to play it would be cool. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to... Uh, I've managed to get it up to 120%. Um, I'm actually trying to go for the full 240%, you know, beating it on uh, on New Game Plus and all that, but... So far, my attention has been completely diverted by Assassin's Creed, so... I did, however, just recently refinish Arkham Asylum on hard, and that was pretty cool. I had forgotten that hard was actually, like, as hard as that game goes. <laughs> and surprisingly difficult. Like, the, the challenge presented by hard was really... Oh, damn. <laughs> When they when they do the re-release of uh, Pokemon Silver, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the Nuzlocke on it. I wish I could get a capture card for my DS, because then I would definitely do that. Ugh. Sorry, gotta stretch. Mm. <sighs> oh. Like, I hear you beeping at me, but I don't quite know why you're beeping at me. And again, I highly, highly recommend reading Assassin's Creed Heresy. I am off, like, fairly frequently, actually. <laughs> and if you want to do like a, like if you want to do like a set day, or if you want to, uh, to do anything like that, all you gotta do is just let me know, and I could probably schedule it myself. Because I do have complete control over my own schedule now, so. And I can also, like, just take specific times off. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so. Yeah, anytime you want to do that, just, uh... Like, hit me up. Look, dude, let's... Let's definitely do that. Let's actually definitely do that. Um, when Gold and Silver come out, 
we'll just run a Nuzlocke against each other and do that challenge where we... The rifle challenge. Let's do the rifle Nuzlocke. So that every... Uh, like, every time that we reach a certain... Uh, like... Milestone, we have to battle each other at similar levels. Something like that, maybe? <laughs> we can chron a little we can chronicle it all in a blog. I fresh sheep scurrying and rosemary poultices. I apologize, please let me remove myself from your path. I haven't, what's that? Oh, that sounds fun. I'd be totally down to do that. Dude, that sounds awesome. Nice. Yeah, I'm totally down with that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Definitely. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's go do, do the... Helm Schmied chess guard. A pleasure. We do come again. Cool. Nice. I will definitely look further into that. Halfway through that sentence, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Okay, so... Alright. <sighs> okay, so that's definitely this building right here. Ah, most impressive. Isn't that dangerous? So, I wanted to take a moment to just say thank you to everybody who comes in and watches on a regular basis. Thank you for everybody who has, like, stuck by 
and followed and given us, you know, given us these watches and given us these, given us the time that it takes to, to come in and watch our, uh, our streams. Because that means a lot to us. And it's really nice knowing that there are people who have been enjoying these videos. Hidden by the murders. And, you know, just... What the organization like, wants from deep see. down, thank you guys so much for, for the support. Um, I'm looking forward to... to growing as a channel. And... you know... going further and... Just having a lot of fun with this. Ah, uh, poop. Six equals one. Okay, so six equals one. Uh, okay. Seven equals two. Alrighty, so we only have one more viewpoint here. And I think I've also gotten all of the, the Codex pages from Florence, so I'm going to go ahead and... Before leaving Florence, I'm going to go ahead and take him over to... Leonardo. So that we can get that going and underway and everything. And then I'll head over and continue the actual story. Okay, so that is... at least as of this moment, that is the last... viewpoint in Florence. I think that, that, I think that actually is the very last one. Because I... Don't I don't recall if there's anything over down here. There might be, but I don't think there is. So we do have all of that. So Yeah, let's go talk to Lorenzo. Or not Lorenzo, uh Leonardo. And get the rest of this underway. And I really do hope that everybody watching has has been having fun with these. Like, I do try to keep pretty entertaining. Oh, Whatever I've done, I didn't mean it. Aren't those guys supposed to like lower the the wanted level? Or am I just being a dick? <laughs> I mean it doesn't really matter because they give really good money, but Yeah. 
Perdonatemi, signore. You're too great for me. Don't hurt me. Alrighty, there we go. And by happy coincidence, that leads me to his little apartment. And the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. You actually have a shitload of them. It's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Oh, indeed. You see. It's another blade design for delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. Everybody needs an eccentric inventor, okay. friend. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Alrighty, so... Everything. Six hundred more for that. That doesn't really make any difference. Let's go by the cicada. You'll be well satisfied. I know it. Alrighty, let's take a look at the map, see what we have going on here. Uh, nothing new, it looks like. Okay, so we can actually just go ahead and fast travel to wherever we need to go. Go to Monterey Johnny. We're gonna pick up all of our money. Maybe see about fixing up the place a little bit more and see what else there is to do there. Oh oh yeah, there's another ancestor memory, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one be. Because that one is the Auditore family crypt. So I'm going to leave that one be for now, uh, until I get further into the game, because I still haven't actually done that one, and to be perfectly honest, I kind of want to just be special a little bit, you know? So, give me my money. Okay. Uh, let's see, do we have anything? Do we have enough to... Let's see if we have any enough to buy anything. Uh, 3,000 right now, so... Let's go ahead and spend 1,000 on that. And let's go ahead and spend 2,500 on that. And that'll give me more... Income. Oh, I forgot about that. Ezio! <laughs> come here, come here! <laughs> what do we owe the army? Look at that, I'm only missing like... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... We're only missing 11 pages. And that's just from this, like, one freaking playthrough. <laughs> Hell yeah.
Okay. Been sent from Firenze by El Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who is it? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack young uh, resources. I always feel a little bit dirty when I play these games because I have to admit to myself that I actually kind of agree with the uh, the Templars. Something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. Um... Yeah, sure, fuck it, why not? And then I'll go down and I'll fit up all of the... the statues with their... All right, Ezio. Their you're discs. You're familiar with counter-attacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro, teach me what to do. Now dodge! Bene, bene! Now do it again! Much better! One last time now! Bravo! Uh, the timing is so, like, finicky. It's, like, way too picky. <laughs> Once again, you exceed my expectation. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. So, I have to admit, I never once thought that I would have so much fun streaming. I never thought I'd have so much fun with the streaming. Like, I always thought that, you know, it wasn't, like, for me. Oh god, I think I'm only missing two of these. <laughs> okay, no, I'm missing three, I'm missing three. Okay. Wait, what? Didn't I just get another one? Ionius, Tilani, Amunat. Okay, well, I guess that I'm missing four. It's all good, though.
I recommend it. It's fun. Like, it puts you out into, like, into the, the ocean of streams. <laughs> that was stupid, I'm sorry. But, no, it's like, it's fun. It's actually strangely relaxing. Because, I mean, yeah. I'm not sure... Like, I'm not sure how it would look on a PS4, because I haven't... You know, I don't own a PS4 yet. But, uh, like, on the Xbox, you get to watch the numbers go up and down. And, uh, like, if you want to, you can actually, like, leave the chat up. I don't do that just because it takes a lot of the screen. So, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, lose that much visibility. But, uh, like, when I first started streaming, I thought that I'd be really disheartened when it was, you know, the entire stream was zero viewers and, you know, nobody was talking in the chat. And it's actually, like, it's surprisingly not as disheartening as I thought it would be. Like, you know, I still, like, I am, I do get kind of bummed out when there are zero viewers, but, like, I still try to keep up the, like, the monologue. I try to keep, you know, like, I try to keep engaging even when there isn't anybody around. Because, I mean, you know that my, my ultimate goal here is to be, is to go onto YouTube. And I have been uploading the streams to YouTube, but I know, like, I know that those aren't going to get very many views just because pre-recorded live streams aren't what people are looking for. And I do, like, actually fully understand that. But, like, streaming has been both extremely fun and extremely rewarding because every time I get a, a notification saying, you know, you have new followers, so-and-so has followed you, it feels great. Like, you know, I'm, I'm watching this channel going somewhere and it's exciting. Like... It's exciting. It's fun. Honestly, I do. I do very much recommend getting into streaming, and I'm hope. I'm hoping, like, once again, that anybody who like decides to to join me for my little my little birthday thing might be willing to donate a little bit for me to be able to get a PS4, because then I would be able to stream a whole slew of different games. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I would have a couple other friends who, who I'd be able to stream with. I'd have uh, a couple of, like, horror exclusives that I'd be able to stream, which, you know, ultimately... That's kind of what I really want to do, is I want to do a lot of horror stuff. Oh yeah, if you if you streamed freaking um, streaming Overwatch, you'd probably get a shitload of viewers. <laughs> Like, I'm actually extremely surprised, because I've gotten a lot of attention just from doing, you know, Assassin's Creed. And of course, I'm pretty sure that that's just because of, uh, you know, the, the impending release of Origins, which is why I'm streaming Assassin's Creed, is to get ready for that one. But, like, even if you suck, people will still have a lot of fun watching it, like... I'm pretty sure you'll still get, like, a pretty decent view going. So, give it a shot. Like, give it a shot. 
Um, do you have one of the the PS4 controllers that has the 3.5 millimeter jack? Oh, nice. That's actually another one that I do want to... that I do want to try. I like the weird... Okay, so you can actually, like, do you have a, a headset for your... for your phone? Because, I mean, if you have a headset for your phone, then you should be able to... to use that for your... your controller. Ah... Uh, Okay. Because, yeah, right now I'm just using a... like a PC headset. <laughs> I don't remember how to do this one. I feel stupid. Of course, as I am fond of saying, we are called the Idiot Slayer for a reason. <laughs> Crap. Ah, okay. I mean, there's also... Like... One of my favorite headsets that I had until, sadly, I broke them. Uh, it was just a... Just a little $9 set from Walmart. It was just... Uh, what are they called? The... They were skull candies, but they were just like the, the stupid little $9 ones, and those worked beautifully. I had to turn up the the mic sensitivity just a little bit, because they were... Like, the mic wasn't right in front of my mouth like it is now. But those worked like a charm. Damn it! Ezio. I only pressed jump. I literally only clicked jump. I didn't even like. They actually work really well for both uh, gaming and for phone use. Like the only thing that the like the only kind of downside about them is that uh, they don't have like built-in volume control. Like they don't have the like the volume wheel or anything. But you know that's such a little minor thing that like only if it's like gonna really bother you should you have to worry about that. Yeah, I know. I know how that goes. <laughs> I don't remember if you can actually counter these guys. No, you cannot. There we go. Dude, afterglows are so freaking cool. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, I actually would really love an afterglow headset, because 
I would probably feel like an alien. And by probably, I mean I would totally feel like an alien, and it would be amazingly cool and funny and... Fuck the shadow. I don't, like, I really, I don't know what it is with me, but, like, RPGs and shit that I play, like, in Borderlands, I play the snipers. In Skyrim, I always end up playing a stealth bow. In Assassin's Creed, I'm like, ha 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 ha, everybody gets killed face to face. So, like, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me on that one. Hey, 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 hey. Damn it! He wasn't even actually damaging me, he just freaking knocked me down. What am I even doing right? Oh yeah, I'm doing a... Right? Son of a bitch, man. It's like, oh no, he must be gone. And then like, I get up to the fucking ledge and he's like, wait, no, he's right there. And then he hits me through the freaking banister. Yes, Assassino. Son of a bitch. Alright, man. Here in a few, I'm actually probably gonna take a little break myself. And... Yeah, I'll probably take like a half hour break or so, get myself something to eat, and then I'll come back and I'll I'll keep going because today I really don't have any kind of a of a time limit. So, like, I know Lester's planning on streaming Skyrim again today, but he seems kind of. It, it sounds like he's probably going to be doing like a later night stream, so might end up playing well into the evening. Ah, there we go. So, depending on when you get off, I may still actually be streaming. Who knows? He's doing a challenge that one of our viewers gave him. Um, it seems to be an entirely, like, non-magic, two-handed thief. From what I gathered from the... from the challenge issued. Because he has, like, he has to... Okay, that'll probably be 
that will probably be Lester streaming then. Uh, I can definitely tell you, though, that he's pretty fun to watch. He's... He's a weird little dude, but I love him. He's funny. <laughs> but yeah, like, he has to use two-handed weapons. He has to have a bow. Um, he has to pickpocket at every opportunity. Like, it actually it actually sounds pretty, pretty freaking fun, so... Sadly, yesterday I was pretty much dead to the world by the time that uh, he was streaming yesterday, so I didn't get to watch his first episode with it. I can, because, I mean, we save our episodes, but, you know, blah, like all that crap. <laughs> oh, they're Borgia messengers. Okay. Okay. I forgot that those guys existed. Can you still hear me alright? Like, am I still coming in clear? Because I just realized that my microphone has moved, so... Like, am I still... Like, understandable. <laughs> The big tower. Okay. So I think I've already gotten most of the... Uh, the switch. I... was interested in the switch until I actually looked at the switch. <laughs> And I know that's probably a little bit mean, but... Seriously. <laughs> okay, cool deal. Because, like, my microphone's, like, right by my chin, so I'm kind of like... Is this a good position? See, I think I've already done this one. Yeah, I've already done that one. Okay. Yeah, it's like... Oh yeah, I'm just... Uh, I don't... I don't like the Switch. Like, I've seen... Too many... Techni technical issues. I've seen too many... Just in general, like, complaints about it. So, maybe once they've, like, re-released a couple times, maybe I'll check it out. But right now, nah, not interested. <laughs> Let's see, anything else in here? Uh, at least nothing in town, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my. Oh, I'd better not hang about. Maybe eventually. Guard, Maybe on. eventually. I'm sure I have just what you need. I need to lower my notoriety just a little bit here, but I don't see any. Like, wanted posters or anything. Hey, buddy. You wanna... You wanna tell him how nice of a guy I am? See, like, the Pokemon game could be really cool, 
But there's one thing about the Pokemon game that I know that, like, prevents me from going, like, rabid about it. And that's the fact that we're not looking at a release anytime soon. Like, the only thing that they've really said about the Pokemon game is that we have over a year until its release. Like, that, those were the words that I read. It's over a year until release. So, like, I'll keep an eye out on it, because, you know, by that point, the Switch should also hopefully drop a little bit in price. Uh, but, like... It's distant enough that it's not like, driving me nuts. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not, like, belittling you for that. Like, I, I can definitely understand it because, you know, we've been wanting, like, an HD Pokemon release for years and years and years, but I myself am extremely reserved. And by this point, Skyrim has been re-released enough that I'm just like, come on. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You'd do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for the information. I like this one. This one is, like, super fun to me. Excuse me, sir. Like, Skyrim to go is a cool idea. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. At least it didn't kill me. You have lost your permission to continue drawing breath. Dead. And you. Like, I think that, honestly, I do think that I'm going to end up getting a Switch at some point. Just because, you know, streaming like, public playthroughs and stuff like that. You know, it's a good thing to have. I'm just a, not, not in any rush.
I always have to do that at least once a game. Okay, so those are his... Yeah, <laughs> I have never, ever been one to, to just like belittle people for having ideas and opinions. Like, I think that the people who do are kind of they're kind of touched in the head. Like, that's that's kind of fucked up. Because like. I think this game is better than another game. Well, you're wrong, and these are like 90,000 reasons why I'm right. And you're stupid because you're wrong. No. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> I mean, man, I have, like, I have in my list of favorite things and things that I'm excited for and things that I enjoyed, I am pretty sure that 90% of my list, like, is hated by the majority of people who might possibly have once agreed with me. <laughs> I will put you on your knees, sinner. You Toss. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Away with you, demon. Have some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. True. I will. I do like some pretty obscure shit. And that's also another thing that I will never, ever, like, ridicule people for. It's like... That's actually one of the reasons that I really don't like hipsters. Oh, you don't know what this is? You're so stupid. <laughs> and I'm like... I like this. What's that? Oh, it's this, and this, and this, and this. You should really check it out. I think you'd like it, too. Because, you know... People should be able to enjoy their lives. <laughs> and you should always share things that you like, because if somebody else will enjoy it, why would you hold that from them? Okay, so let's see. Oh no, I... Dude, honestly, it completely slipped my mind. Like, that makes me feel terrible, but it completely slipped my mind. Uh, give me the, the name of it again, because I remember it sounded really freaking cool. Ezio, about time you got here. We found Bernardo Baroncelli. Ottima notizia. Tell me where he is, and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. But he escaped. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Va bene. I'll see if I can't pin him down. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? I have my ways. Because I'm Ezio.
Nebula Jazz. Okay, cool. I will definitely check them out. Uh, I'm actually going to make a note of it to myself. Screenshot. Oh, nice. That's cool. Let's go ahead and take some courtesans. Ladies. If I just found out that I'm the Lindbergh baby, who do I tell? Okay, man, I hope you have a good shift. Hey, get off me. Still stab you in the neck. Have a good one, bud. to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. We gather at the church when a meeting is called. Mi duole dover giungere a tanto. Requiescat in pace. Yes. Requiescat in pace indeed. Ouch. Actually, I think this might be the perfect positioning for my for my mic because with it without it being directly in front of my mouth, it's not going to be popping anymore. I can even say pop. I can go <sighs> and it's not going to like deafen my poor viewers. And now without the Uh, you know, I think I might just go ahead and just keep streaming. Like I may take a, a little bit of a of a break here in a sec, but yeah, I think I'll I think I'll still come back because I mean, having fun playing the game. Like that, this should be good enough. So. There you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend. The cowl does not make the monk. No, the cowl makes the bat. Oh, smoke bombs. I had forgotten that I get those in this game. Smoke bombs make me extremely happy. And I hear the glyph, which is a definite good sign. There you are. 
Yeah, you have to be closer. Something was up there. Something abandoned long ago. Hello. Oh yeah, I love these ones. There we go. I love the laser puzzles. They're fun. With Jack deep underground, it was easy. Think... Let's see, we have four... We have... Hey, we're halfway there! We have half of the glyphs. This game is actually going surprisingly quickly. Or at least the challenges in it are. Like, I'm halfway through the glyphs, I'm halfway through the crypts, I'm well over halfway through the, uh... the pages. Actually, I think I'm pretty... I think I'm actually pretty far into the story itself as well. Oh, 
and dead. Now I will see who was right. Stabbed him in the skull. Nothing right in the head. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora si libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. Ezio is also, like, by far the most humane assassin in the series. Oh yeah, smoke bombs. Poof. And poof. Just to make double sure. Okay, so now, let's see. Hey, you know what, since I am going after all the pages, let's go ahead and just say screw it and go after all of the viewpoints as well. And since I do seem to have some time afforded to me for this thingy. Stream is the word that I was looking for. I'm also going to see if I can find a horse to steal. Because I do know for a fact that will make life a lot easier. It's really weird, though, like thinking about the Ezio trilogy and the fact that, like, Assassin's Creed 2, great game, gigantic map, lots of stuff to do in it, and then Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, much, much smaller map, much smaller area that you take care of, way more to do. Like, you have all of the, like, the Borgia Towers that you have to take out. You have, like, you know, the Brotherhood that you have to build. But it's a much smaller area to play in, so I'm like... Like, I have to look at that and think to myself... You know, quite seriously, the map doesn't make the game. Like, the map size? It doesn't... It doesn't make that much of a difference. I mean, like, you know, having a gigantic map, you can have a lot more, like, pretty areas to go to and all that, but... Like, I'm completely serious. One of the smallest maps had one of the best games attached to it. I don't know exactly what brought on that thought, but... It is definitely something to consider. Is there a horse in here? I'd really appreciate having a horse. No horsey, okay. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stream for just a little bit. I'm going to find myself something to eat. I'm going to do some of the... Like, the more boring legwork. And I'll come back when I'm on the next assassination. So, anybody who is watching right now, who doesn't show up on the counter for, for any given reason, uh, I'll be back probably... Eh, I'll say, let's say half an hour. 
Let's say half an hour, because then I'll have all of the towers and stuff done, and I'll be on my way to the next assassination. So, I'll see you guys there, and... Yeah, I'll be right back.